Alright guys, welcome back to Star Scotland 90, just playing a quick exhibition match, elimination tag here, WWE 2K15, check out the new DLC, the Ascension from the NXT pack, so just test them out, want to see their entrance, wants to see their, their signature moves, finisher moves, tag team moves, stuff like that, so we're going to be up here against the Bros of Destruction, I will be adding the Ascension into my universe mode, don't worry about that, so yeah, I think the... In general, the downloadable pack wasn't too good there, apart from the Ascension and Emma, I'm, I'm not impressed. We don't, no one likes Adam Rose and JBL's not an active wrestler anymore, so yeah. <laughs> Pretty poor pack apart from this team and Emma, but whatever. <laughs> well, I suppose we did need a tag team because uh, the tag team roster is pretty poor, but anyway. Enjoy the match and until next time, check out the universe mode. Peace. And their opponents first, representing the Athens, weighing 323 pounds, King! Oh, when Kane comes to the ring, you can feel his thirst for destruction. And his tag team partner, representing the Athens from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker! For more than two decades, The Undertaker has been a measuring stick here in WWE. And I'm not so sure anybody has ever reached his level, Cole, or ever will for that matter. Look at the eyes of Kane. He can't wait to start this one off. Oh, the punch connects. And a great punch there from Victor. 
He almost took his head off with that lariat. Looks like we're going back inside. And Victor's plan has got him on a roll here tonight. Why is the guy his opponent? What's he going for here? Kane is laid out. Man, Kane goes down like an anvil falling from the sky. And Kane manages to reverse out of that one. Watch it. Ooh. Leg drop. Oh, no. Victor with the opportunity. You hear how his leg connected? Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh, talk about getting flat. Oh, out of nowhere! And there's the elbow. And the knuckles connect. And there he goes, under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. A smart tag team move there. You know, when we talk about the most devastating finishers in WWE, we have to, of course, talk about the Tombstone Pile Driver. Oh, man. I mean, The Undertaker is such a ferocious finisher that once it hits, most men will not get up. Connor seems helpless. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He's got him up. Speaking of the versatility and finishers that The Undertaker has, it truly is an arsenal of finishers at his disposal. The tombstone is devastating. Well, let's not forget about his choke slam. Undertaker loves to put people through tables, rings, and Michael even steal cages with him. Yeah. Great offense by Connor. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. And something else that comes to mind with The Undertaker. How about the Hell's Gate? Oh, my. I mean, this is a move that brings you to the gates of Hell. Once applied, you're not only dealing with the match at hand, but your entire career. Right. I'd have to agree with you there, Michael. The Undertaker is so aware of his opponent's weaknesses that he can apply the Hell's Gate whenever his opponent least expects it. Once he executes it, it could all be over. And that's going to be on the mind of each and every opponent he faces. And tonight, King is no exception. Right. Ooh. He does it again. Victor with no problem getting out of that one. Victor gathering attention in a hurry. in trouble here. Oh! 
He's going to take a chance here. here. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. 